So Tunguska 1908 exploded five miles up in the atmosphere with the force of about a 15 megaton hydrogen bomb. So that piece is estimated to have been about 150 feet in diameter. That thing descended through the atmosphere, was moving so fast that the atmosphere in effect didn't have time to get out of the way. As a result of that explosion, over 820 square miles of old growth Taiga forest was just utterly obliterated and flat. A machine at MIT just recreated the most mysterious explosion in modern history, and what it revealed could change how we understand the dangers above our heads. In 1908, a blast as powerful as a hydrogen bomb flattened 80 million trees across Siberia. The explosion released energy hundreds of times stronger than Hiroshima, yet left no crater and no fragments. For over a century, the Tunguska event remained Earth's greatest scientific enigma. Until now. Using cutting-edge quantum AI technology, MIT scientists have finally reconstructed every second of this catastrophic event. The simulation reveals shocking details never before understood. Magnetic storms that distorted Earth's field, hidden asteroid fragments that survived the blast, and a devastating explosion pattern more complex than anyone imagined. This isn't just about solving a 115-year-old mystery, the terrifying truth is that similar objects pass near Earth constantly. Think about this for a second. If that explosion had happened over New York, Chicago, or London, we might not be here talking today. MIT's recreation isn't just about solving a mystery, it's about survival. What this quantum simulation discovered changes everything we thought we knew about asteroid impacts, and the evidence was hiding in plain sight for over a century. The quantum AI recreation. In 2025, MIT scientists deployed something unprecedented, a quantum AI platform specifically designed to solve Tunguska's enduring mysteries. This wasn't ordinary computing power. The system processed millions of possible scenarios at quantum speeds. The AI analyzed everything, historical eyewitness accounts describing the sky split in two with fire, precise tree fall patterns from expedition photos, and even geomagnetic readings recorded at the time. What emerged was the most detailed reconstruction ever created, a 55-meter stony asteroid entering Earth's atmosphere at 60 degrees inclination, exploding approximately nine kilometers above Siberia with the force of 10 megatons. But here's where it gets fascinating. The quantum AI identified critical hidden variables that conventional simulations had missed for decades. First, the explosion actually interacted with Earth's magnetic field, creating an electromagnetic pulse that triggered the mysterious magnetic storm recorded at Irkutsk Observatory in 1908. Second, the thermal radiation didn't spread evenly. The AI revealed concentric rings of intense heat pulses, perfectly matching the strange circular burn patterns found in soil samples and tree rings from the blast zone. Most shocking of all, in thousands of simulation runs, a fragment of the asteroid consistently survived the explosion. The AI tracked where this chunk would have landed, precisely where Lake Cheko sits today, eight kilometers northwest of the blast epicenter. But that wasn't the only surprise. The AI uncovered a side effect that scientists had noticed in 1908, but could never explain. The forgotten clues. When the Tunguska explosion occurred, something strange happened hundreds of kilometers away. The Irkutsk Observatory recorded an unexpected five-hour magnetic storm immediately following the blast. For over a century, this anomaly remained unexplained, until now. The quantum AI simulation revealed that the asteroid's explosion ionized the atmosphere with such intensity that it temporarily disrupted Earth's magnetic field. This wasn't just a coincidence, it was a direct effect of the cosmic impact. Scientists had dismissed these magnetic readings as unrelated, the AI proved they were wrong. Even more fascinating are the thermal patterns. The simulation showed the explosion didn't just create a simple fireball, it formed what scientists call a toroidal or donut-shaped blast wave that rolled toward the ground. This explains why trees directly under the blast remained standing but were stripped bare, while trees farther away were completely flattened in a radial pattern. The AI's recreation matches perfectly with chemical anomalies discovered in soil samples and tree rings from 1908. Resin trapped in these rings contains unusual radionuclides and nitrogen isotopes, 
a chemical fingerprint that aligns exactly with the simulation's predicted heat pattern. MIT's recreation didn't just solve the Tunguska mystery. It revealed hidden layers of the event that even eyewitnesses couldn't see. Here's where I want your input. Do you think a fragment could really still be sitting under Lake Checo, waiting to be found? Let us know in the comments, because what we'll show next might change your mind. If you love seeing mysteries like this unraveled with hard science, hit that subscribe button right now. Let's keep going. Beyond the Blast The quantum AI revealed something no previous investigation had uncovered. Tunguska wasn't just one explosion. The simulation detected a subtle asymmetry in the treefall pattern that points to a two-stage breakup. First came the main detonation at nine kilometers altitude. Then seconds later, a surviving fragment exploded again at just five kilometers above the ground. This perfectly explains why eyewitnesses described seeing two pillars of fire in the sky and reported multiple sequences of thunderous booms echoing across the Siberian wilderness. The forest damage itself tells this story. When scientists mapped the fallen trees, they discovered an unusual asymmetry that couldn't be explained by a single blast. The two-stage explosion model finally makes sense of this pattern. But Tunguska's reach extended far beyond Siberia. Historical records from Europe describe nights so bright that people could read newspapers outdoors at midnight. The MIT simulation shows how high-altitude ice particles scattered sunlight across the northern hemisphere, creating these eerie glowing skies. Naval logs from ships across the northern Atlantic in 1908 reported compass anomalies and strange atmospheric conditions, consistent with the geomagnetic disturbance the simulation predicted. Even more astonishing, ice core samples from Greenland contain a thin layer of unusual particulates, dating precisely to 1908. These microscopic remains match the chemical signature of a vaporized asteroid. But what if Tunguska wasn't just a Siberian mystery? What if it left traces around the entire planet? The Hidden Footprints Tunguska's after-effects weren't limited to flattened trees. The explosion left biological and geological fingerprints that scientists are only now beginning to understand. Tree ring studies reveal something extraordinary. After 1908, surviving trees in the blast zone exhibited abnormally accelerated growth for several years. Their rings contain elevated levels of radiocarbon and unusual isotopes, direct evidence of the cosmic impact. Even more fascinating, genetic studies of pine trees from the region show subtle mutations and adaptations not found in trees outside the blast zone. These trees literally carry the genetic memory of Tunguska in their DNA. Below the surface, scientists have discovered compressed soil layers in the bog sediments. Using ground-penetrating radar, they've identified a distinct boundary layer dating to 1908, the physical imprint of the shockwave as it hammered the ground. Lake sediment cores tell another story. Microfossil analysis reveals a sudden die-off of certain algae species immediately after the event followed by unusual bloom patterns in the months that followed, evidence of ecological disruption caused by the blast's fallout. The MIT quantum AI puts these discoveries in alarming context. Events like Tunguska aren't once-in-a-million-year occurrences. They happen every few centuries. We just don't have records of them because most hit unpopulated areas or oceans. So, what does this mean for us today? It means Tunguska wasn't a one-off freak event. Objects this size zip past Earth every couple of years. The only difference? In 1908, Earth got unlucky. And here's the shocking part. Scientists now say Tunguska could happen again, anywhere, without warning. Lessons for the future. The Tunguska mystery isn't just about the past. It's shaping how we defend Earth today. NASA's DART mission in 2022 successfully altered an asteroid's orbit by crashing a spacecraft into it. This was humanity's first real asteroid deflection test, a direct response to threats like Tunguska. The Vera Rubin Observatory, with its massive digital camera, is now scanning the skies specifically for Tunguska-sized objects that previously slipped through our detection systems. MIT's quantum AI simulation isn't just solving historical puzzles. It's creating tools for survival. Scientists are using this same technology to model what would happen 
if a Tunguska-level event occurred over major cities. These simulations show terrifying but crucial data, blast radius patterns, thermal damage zones, and electromagnetic disruption footprints. They reveal which areas would need immediate evacuation and which structures might survive. The models demonstrate that with proper warning systems, even a Tunguska-sized event could be survivable if we have enough advance notice. This is why astronomers have cataloged over 38,000 near-Earth asteroids as of 2025, and why June 30th, the anniversary of Tunguska, is now International Asteroid Day, dedicated to raising awareness about cosmic threats. What was once an unfathomable mystery is now a cornerstone of planetary defense. The very technology that recreated Tunguska could someday save millions of lives. Imagine if this simulation becomes our warning system. One day, it could be the difference between evacuation and catastrophe. Before MIT's groundbreaking simulation, the Tunguska mystery spawned decades of scientific detective work and wild speculation. It all began on June 30th, 1908, when a blinding fireball streaked across the Siberian dawn. Eyewitnesses described the sky splitting in two with fire, followed by a series of thunderous booms that shook the ground like an earthquake. For the next few nights, the skies over Europe glowed with strange white light, so bright that people could read newspapers at midnight. It wasn't until 1927 that scientist Leonid Kulik led the first expedition to ground zero. What he found was apocalyptic, trees flattened outward in neat rows like matchsticks pointing away from a central point. Near the epicenter, trees stood upright but charred and branchless. Yet strangely, there was no impact crater to be found. This missing crater became Tunguska's greatest puzzle. The absence of obvious evidence sparked extraordinary theories. Some believed a fragment of a comet, mostly ice, had exploded and completely vaporized, leaving no trace. Others speculated that inventor Nikola Tesla had accidentally triggered the blast while testing a death ray from his New York laboratory. The timing coincided with his experiments in wireless energy transmission. Even more exotic theories emerged, a miniature black hole passing through Earth, an antimatter collision, or even an alien spacecraft exploding in midair. Geophysicist Wolfgang Kunt proposed a natural gas explosion, methane seeping from Earth's crust and igniting in a colossal blowtorch. Each theory tried to explain the strange combination of evidence, devastation without a crater, magnetic anomalies, and accelerated tree growth in later years. But with MIT's quantum recreation, we don't need wild speculation anymore. We can finally see what really happened. After more than a century of speculation, MIT's quantum AI has finally unraveled the Tunguska mystery, confirming it was indeed a natural cosmic impact while revealing layers of complexity that earlier investigations missed. The recreation shows conclusively that a stony asteroid about 55 meters wide entered Earth's atmosphere at hypersonic speed, detonating with the force of 10 megatons, approximately nine kilometers above Siberia. But the simulation unveiled unexpected dimensions of this event, the electromagnetic disturbance that triggered a five-hour magnetic storm the complex two-stage explosion that created the asymmetric damage pattern, and the strong possibility that a fragment survived to create Lake Cheko. Perhaps most sobering is what Tunguska teaches us about Earth's vulnerability. Had this asteroid arrived just a few hours earlier or later, it could have detonated over Moscow, Berlin, or London, potentially altering the course of human history. Today, we're using this knowledge to build planetary defense systems, from asteroid detection networks to deflection technologies and advanced warning systems. The greatest mystery of the 20th century may have just given us the blueprint for surviving the 21st. What was once merely a fascinating historical puzzle has become essential knowledge for protecting our future. The Tunguska event was Earth's alarm bell, a cosmic warning shot that we're only now fully understanding. Subscribe if you want to see more mysteries cracked open with science and let us know in the comments where you think the next Tunguska could strike.